What's up, Bug Douglas Dini in the garage? Today I got to do some power washing, which means got to get a power washer running. And I know we have one out here somewhere. This appears to be all snow blowers. Winter, winter, chicken dinner. There we go. This Generac unit should do. Assuming she's not seized. Actually, I don't really care if it's seized. We'll get it running anyway. Look at that. 10 out of 10, bud. Looks to be complete. We got hoses and schnozzles. Say we drag her back to the garage. See if we can't dial her to life. Holy Halliburton, bud. Look what I just found. Oh, this is a really nice unit. I didn't know I had this over here. John Deere 350G in really good shape. So if you guys want to see me get this thing running next week, give me a shout. Oh man, this is a honey of a unit. Who threw this out and why didn't I remember I had it? All right, well, whether you guys want to see it running or not, that's probably what we're doing next week. All righty, there we go. Let's see, lock these wheels in. Nope, yep, cool. That looks too sketchy, let's move her back. There we go. Now, first things third, not seized. Oh, definitely good compression. Let's see what's going on here. Get a bucket for bolts. Oh, wow. It's got a new Stens air filter on it. This was being cared for by somebody. Would you look at that? Love this wing nut design. This is definitely not ridiculous. It's a lot. Where's the dipstick? Should we see if she got a wall? Well, let's see what's under this air filter first. Nothing. Carb looks good. Choke appears to engage. Oof. Oh, that's the fuel. Carb itself doesn't seem frozen up. Cool. Let's find out if it's got any uh, Earl in it. Yeah, nice clean oil too. Look at that. Holy Halliburton Batman. This is a Should we just throw fuel in this thing? No, right? There's no way. Doesn't make for much of a video. Let's see what the gasoline that comes out of here looks like. Oh wait, is there fuel in the tank? Can you tell me. Do you see anything in there? Oh. Whew. Not great. All right. Let's um, pull a fuel sample here. Let's see what we're up against. All right, fine. Oh, yeah. That is 10 out of 10. Let's open the petcock to the tank, see if it'll drain some more through. Oh, it says fuel's on. Should pull that carb bowl off. Fuel don't look too promising. Whew, I have not smelled fuel like that. That is new to me. That is an interesting one. Not too bad in the bowl. Definitely some, I don't know if you can see some rust particulates. The bowl gasket looks good. Man, this might be an easy win. 
Wouldn't that be nice? I'm not even gonna pull that carb all the way off. Let's see about just cleaning this out. We'll blow it out. Now what confuses me is that fuel should be pouring out the bottom of this carb right now. Unless I'm missing a second fuel shut off. Yeah, fuel on that way. Where's the fuel line? All right, this is about the least accessible fuel line. Uh, I gotta at least pull this plastic cage off the carb, <clears throat> see if I can get behind there. Because what I think is going on is the fuel level is below the pickup, perhaps, because there's not a lot of fuel in there. Uh, but the fuel that is in there has got to come out. So let's pull this off, see if we can dislodge that hose so that we can drain that uh, bad fuel, flush it with some good. And, and I don't know, man, maybe that's all we got to do to get this thing running. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, this makes me... Don't! This makes me nervous. Anytime you see a um, power washer on the side of the road, you got to ask yourself, is that pump any good or was it frozen? Because people don't take the water out of these. They just leave them in the garage all winter. Oh, there you go. Came off pretty easy. All things considering, we have access to the fuel line. Popped off pretty easy. Alrighty friends, keep your eyes right there. We are going to just start dumping some fuel down this thing and see what happens. See if we can't flush the tank out. See if I can put this jar somewhere where it may catch a few drops of this fuel that I'm about to dump everywhere. Oh, hopefully. So if it doesn't come out, that means there's an obstruction and things have to come off. Let's see. Oh, it's not looking good for our heroes. Nope, nope, not looking good for our heroes. <sighs> Can you guys see what I see? It's dropping one drop every little bit. Something's going on in there. Oh, I have a, I have a bad idea. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to back blow into the tank and blow fuel everywhere and I don't care. Huh. Well, definitely cleared our obstruction. Oh, and there we go. Fuel is a flowing. Can we turn it off? Oh, duh. No, I can't. <laughs> Hold on. Put you people back here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna let that run for a minute and just sort of drip fuel out. You know what, it was running heavier a minute ago. Let's see, let's try to clear that again. We all say. I think because of all the stuff in the bottom of that tank, it's just clogging her up. Ugh, I really don't want to take this tank off right now, but kind of looks like, yeah, see, and then it starts slow dripping like that to the point where it almost stops, and then I can clear it again. You actually hear it. Hey, <laughs> this is something cool. Choo, choo, <laughs> choo, choo. That really wasn't that bad. Let's see about removing this fuel line. Uh, oh, oh. Alrighty, I don't know if y'all can see how cloudy that fuel is in there. I mean, we poured a ton of new fuel in there and all it did was dissolve this nasty rust. So let me find something to pour this in. That wasn't that bad. Oh wait, never mind. All the rust was at the bottom. Oh, 
shoot. Wonder if this tank's still good. I think we caught it just in time. So right down, right below the fill hole is a good amount of rust on the bottom, but the rest of the tank looks okay. Obviously that is rusty because that's the lowest part of this tank. So that's where all the water sits. So the water sit right down there, rusted her a bit. The rest of it had good fuel in it. Let me clean this out a bit and then we'll throw her back on and just throw some fuel down and see what happens. Now the bottom of this thing already had all that debris in it, but just look at how cloudy the fuel was. It was about one tenth of this is what was in the tank. The rest was completely fresh, clean gas. So for it to cloud it up that much, I mean, there was some seriously nasty rust, sludge, fuel crap, garbage, nasty, disgusting bottom of the river crap in that tank. I'm hoping that that's why she was parked and not for a blown pump. But I guess the only way to find that out would be to stop talking at the YouTubes and get back to work. Hey, for anyone interested, this is one of the many ways to fix modern fuel tanks. If you got the push button type, just depress the button. Figure out where the depressed button's gonna be. Drill two holes almost below that level. Put your nail through and she is permanently locked down. The only thing you wanna make sure it's got a top because uh, vented fuel cans go bad first. All right, friends, now an argument could be made that we jumped the gun here. We uh, went all the way through the fuel system before we even checked to see if she had spark. So I suppose that's what we should do next. As I'm sure you can guess, we're gonna use my absolute favorite spark tester, a little two stroke fuel down the old throat hole here. It's really definitive, you know, there's just no gray area. Whoa, oh yeah, I forgot that carb's only barely attached. Well, let's see how this works anyway. On, meh, whatever. Well, that's good enough for me. We ain't even pulling that spark plug. Let's lock this carb down. What do you say? Do we clean the carb or do we just lock her down? Expert opinion says, well, if this were a Honda, she'd run like this. And this is a Honda clone, so. Mm -hmm. Now these bowl gaskets are tricky because you can see this guy's still got some stretch to her. It's a little bit pliable, but it's starting to crack on the inside and it's got this hard, I guess it's corrosion that's sticking to it. I don't know what it is, but they collect this hard growth and they just don't seal very well. So let's go inside and see if we have anything. I, it looks pretty similar to those really cheap Tecumseh bowl gaskets I got a couple years ago. So I don't know, let's go find out. All right, I know I don't have any Honda ones specific, but like I said, I have a bunch of Tecumseh ones in here and this kind of looks, look at this guy right here. Smaller, I think we can stretch it and make it work. Yeah, I don't know either. It's worth a try though. In the meantime, I'm gonna soak this one. The Superzilla stuff, I don't know. It's supposed to be greener than WD-40. What's so bad about WD-40, I don't know. Uh, but I do like this stuff. It doesn't have the same terrible smell, that fish oil smell that WD has, and it works pretty well in all the uh, applications you would use WD. Being a um, natural product, I'm hoping maybe it does better with this. I don't know. So we're going to put this in the bottom of a spray paint can and just coat it. And we'll let her sit like that while we do some work on the rest of it. And I mean... Seven times out of ten, it doesn't do jack diddly squat, and three times out of ten, it brings it around. So, not exactly odds I'd like to take, but better than nothing. None of you were gonna tell me that the thing I sprayed in had a hole in the top. You were just gonna let me do that? You guys are bad friends. Every time with you people. All right, let me. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Whatever. Just sit there, leak all over my bench, do your worst. I got a power washer to fix. Alrighty friends, I let that, uh, I gave that to come to one to try and it was just too small. So I got this bad boy soaked in oil for about 20 minutes. It's still oiled. I'm hoping that extra oil is going to help it seal. We're going to slip this guy on. Would it be easier to take the carb off? Obviously. 
Obviously it would. Would that be the right way? Obviously. We don't have time for rational decisions. I'm not gonna lie to you, this machine's been a treat to work on so far. I've needed exactly one wrench, which I throw on the ground. It is a Sears 10 mil, one of the Japan cast, uh, Japan forged um, 80s units. These guys are pretty nice. They, they don't have the fit and finish that some of the US made Craftsman does, but they are quality wrenches. So if you see these at a flea market, well, lowball the crap out of the guy and then pick him up. Got this gnarly friggin' eighth inch steel gasket. Generac, sometimes they make industrial gear. So I wonder if this is like a professional grade unit, though I'd think they'd have the actual Honda on it if it was a professional grade unit. But what do I know? Oh, should we see if that leaks? We probably should turn the fuel on. That's more than enough for a test. More than enough to make a mess anyway. And we can confirm fuel flow to the bowl right here. Nothing yet. <laughs> Hello. Alrighty, friends, here we go again. Could be the, oh, there's a little drip drop. We got some coming. Beautiful, it just took a little bit to get down the line. You see all that? Buy that for one dollar throw our drain back in right, i'm sure some of you would have something to say about this one but i'm gonna grease this bad boy a little bit it's a little lithium grease not enough that it's gonna heat up on a 100 degree day and run down into the carburetor or anything just a bit to keep the rust off this guy since i can pretty much guarantee this thing's gonna live its life outside until i sell it and then the new owner's probably gonna keep it outside too because that's just how small engines get treated uh, the point here being, obviously, to uh, preclude these wing nuts. They get seized on there, and then you go to give them the business, and they just pop right off. The threads break. So look how nice that thing goes on now. It's going to be totally coated. She'll never rust again. All right, friends. Really? Oh, choked, duh. Perfect. What a little honey. Now let's get some water hooked up to it so that if it's not already blown, we don't, you know, blow it now.
the pump just blew apart. Ugh. <laughs> I have no idea if that chunk of no, that was not missing. Shoot, I wonder if we can find that piece. It blew off with the quickness. I think it, I heard it hit the boards over here. Hit the side of the house. Goodness. Well, that's definitely a result. <laughs> uh, this is just the manifold block though, which is not part of the pump. It's not integral to the pump. So the pump works, it generates pressure. I had it chooching out the end. I just need a new manifold block. So, oh, sorry. Y'all are a little wet there. Much better. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna call that a result, I guess. Uh, that'll be the end of this one. Long and the short of it here was, uh, we got this thing running the side of the road unit without any carb work, which is what scares a lot of people, right? still water droplets i'm sorry um you know oh, i couldn't work on carbs i don't know how to blah 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 and that's why everybody's cashing them in to go buy electric now i know this thing also needs a manifold block but the part number's right on the side of the thing and it's two friggin allen keys to replace it you're telling me that if you you couldn't take a tank off clean it take these two allens off clean uh get a new manifold block and slap that bad boy on there i mean my grandma's great aunt tilly could have done that so um as always, I'm advocating that as you're driving around, you're paying attention on the side of the road, pick some stuff up, bring it home. This, this was an hour on a Sunday morning, and it was an absolutely delightful way to spend a Sunday morning. Take it from me. So leave me a comment down in the squawk boxes. Should I grab a manifold block for this unit? I certainly think so. Nice Honda clone Generac, which is a good name. It's a complete unit. The pump's generating pressure. Tires are in good shape. She's a delightful racing orange i love that you don't get that all the time you know nice powder coat on there christmas that's a nice unit i'll go source the manifold block i'll do a how-to video on replacing that oh i haven't told you guys yet have i when i left the honda harmony video i couldn't get traction boom terra grips yeah bud terra grip the heck out of these someone was selling them for 40 bucks on marketplace i had to remove one you know length from each and they popped right on this thing will climb a, a wall now forget about it um and this was another free unit took me uh two sunday mornings on this one but we got her going so <clears throat> like i said if you like the video like the video that's common sense subscribe to the channel just to show you guys is how easy it was to pull the manifold block off it was actually three bolts but she pops right off and then there's a number of seals and stuff back here here's your actual manifold body and there's a part number right there I'm gonna go check that bad boy out. Hopefully I can get one for hmm, hoping under 60 bucks. Otherwise I'm not sure it's worth it. Then I'll look for a used one. And that's all she wrote, bud. That's how you do what we do. This is what Eric and I do. A little bit of work, a little bit of research, a little bit of getting her done.